Alrighty. We are back in great bear science. Welcome back. Been about a good week. But we have It's only been a week. I don't know. But all you who know about knowing things, you know this bear was released this week. I'll put your I threw a curveball and like boom, releasing the blaze orange again. I think last time I released it was in April. Now Blaze Orange is back. And fortunately, we have something to compare to Little Beaver, their orange milkshake. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Apparently there is no limit. So there, it might still be in stores. Now, oh, oh shout out to Open Bottle. If you uh, ordered online through Open Bottle or show. Not just Open Bottle. Evergreen Park Binnies is No, Evergreen two. Park Binnies had two limit, but Open yes. Bottle had a no limit of this beer. So I got for myself four four packs. All right, but share them, share them a lot. All right, um, so here we go. Lady, pour. We have one in this little fish bowl looking tiny glass. Did you put a bottle on One's alto. And then we got one in this weird looking uh, vase glass. So, be so this is labeled as alto on this board. So either Hot Butcher or Little Beaver is in the uh, alto glass. Alto meaning tall. For all of you that only speak English. Alright. So let's see what's up. Let me go with the tall one first. Easier to get a nose. Some nose hairs on these bears. Alrighty. Why is it easier to get a nose on that? It's just so easy to spin. That one's... I only got like sample sizes in these glasses. I was going to say the other one so is closer to the liquid. So you probably smell it better. Well, I gotta spin it to get that foam going. Oh, right. the other one's closer to the liquid. You know. This liquid. smells like orange pop, like orange, yeah, orange pop, like a Fanta. Don't you wanna? Fanta, Fanta, don't you wanna? Uh, did you try both? And she's off to the side trying a little samples to. So let's do this one. So yeah, this. Hmm. Right. Yeah, all right, so there's definitely a distinctive. This one smells like more carbonate more pop. And this one smells definitely more creamy. Did you smell both? All right, let's get some. Let's um, taste these. Let's taste these. Yeah, one smells better than the other. One tastes better than the other. One has like a hobby bite. What's ABV on uh, the Little Beaver? I don't know. Little Beaver... So a lot of their beers, they don't put their ABVs down. We want to know. You don't know what the ABVs. What are the ABVs? That's a so very essential vitamin. You don't uh, even know if you're doing correct alcohol. Well, one hides alcohol a lot better. A little beaver. So this one straight up, um, very orangey, like artificial orangey, very carbonatey. Uh, and then this one. Mm. Mm. Alright, this one, very creamy, very smooth. Um, it ends with a awesome, uh, distinctive hop bite that I know well. If I'm gonna take a bet, this is definitely Hop Witcher's Blaze Orange. Between these two, this one you still know you're drinking a beer. This one tastes uh, super, super sweet and very carbonated. They're um, both sweet. Let's see sweet. if I was right though. Yeah, all right. Definitely right here, a Hop Witcher's Blaze Orange does win. Little Beaver's take on the orange milkshake is pretty tasty. Um, it's not the bestest compared side by side to Hop Witcher. I like it more. The lady picks Little Beaver more because she don't like beer as much as me. But uh, this one, this one, you know, the milkshake's a gimmicky style of the hazy, but man, this one is, uh, it has that creaminess vanilla and that orange, you know, That's peelness the only thing. that like, Perfectly adds, I think, bitterness to that hot boy, making it like That's you the only know. Compliment I give it. 
you know you're still drinking a beer when you're drinking a hot butcher blazed orange. It's not really a compliment if you keep saying it to everybody. That is a compliment. No, because you use it a lot. Use different compliments. Because it's a different beer. But it has that <laughs> signature hot butcher <laughs> creaminess, vanilla-ness with their uh, um, milkshakes. It's just creamy. Mm. It's creamier. It's definitely creamier. I give them that. It has that soft mouth feel with that heaviness of that lactose addition, that creaminess from the vanilla. And the orange is the perfect amount of orange. And that hot pot, it just, this is amazing. This is straight up golden right here. And then the little beaver, let me, let me do the more with it. It definitely acts up my acid reflex just a little bit. Little beaver is uh, a little bit more synthetic and artificial tasting. So, I wouldn't, I, I mean, it's still tasty. I don't know what the ABVs are, but I would only drink one of these because it's a, little, a bit too much on the artificial. Or share yes. one. Yeah. Uh, how about you though? I can down a whole lot of these blaze oranges. Whoa. But no, they're sweet too. You I gotta be able to function. So what? They're yes, they are. They're well, they're all too. all milkshakes are essentially sweet, or even hazies by themselves without any lactose. Voice, but yes, but, but still, sweet. what I was amazing about they're hot butcher is it has that awesome hot bite. To what I, I keep I saying, I don't like that. you know, you still drinking a, a cerveza, yeah, a beer. Be, be That's good. Blaze Orange wins. Me, hands I down. want them to hide the cerveza. You, at seven point five percent, you don't even this don't taste that oh, high. So it's very dangerous. And I don't know what the little beaver's doing over there with his alcohol by volume, but uh. They don't mark it. I don't know why they don't mark it. Oh, and as usual, Hot Butcher always puts something on the bottom. And uh, this says, Bear can't see orange. But Bear can definitely taste like orange. And Little Beaver, this one tastes a whole lot of artificial Did I orange. That Hot Butcher smells amazing. I don't know. I told you they smell different. Yeah. Blaze Orange Hot is Butcher the perfect smells. amount of orange for the, for the beer, for smells drinking a beer. Better. All right, the kid's sleeping. Shh. See, that's why I'm telling you, your voice. Usually she says bye bye, but let her take her nap. She's still learning how to learn and grow. He's too busy scratching his face. And the dog's scratching his face because he has fleas. He's just not have or fleas. he has ticks. He not have fleas. Or he Go has. Outside. What's it called? What's Break that? The outside. thing that dogs get? <laughs> Worms. Worms. I don't know. Whatever. Now he's hacking up a storm because he's eating his hairballs like he's some kind of cat. He's chewing himself. Just talk. Just talk. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Yeah. But what do we learn? Get up. Right. Drink up that blaze orange because that is an amazing beer. Uh, still to this day, no one's topped an orange milkshake from Hot Butcher or many of their hazies. You think they're? They're really good beer. Is that one of your favorite beers? Yeah, I like that. I like Double Blaze Orange more though. That is the, by far the bestest beer I've ever had. It's all Blaze Orange. Nine point five percent. Oh man, I gave that to people that don't even like beer, and they absolutely loved it and had no idea it was nine point five percent. It beer is amazing. Waiting for the Double Blaze. It's Pro true. It does taste pretty similar to this one. Probably come out around winter time, Christmas. That's when it last came out. All right, bye bye.